Am I the asshole? For kicking my sister out after she refused to babysit my son? I F30 live with my husband M31 on our son M5, my sister F22 is still in college and has to move out with us 3 months ago because she had some issues with her roommates. Things were going fine until this argument, also she doesn't work but my parents send her some money for textbooks and groceries although she barely ever has contributed to the household since she moved in with us. We also live in a different state from our parents and family so I'm basically throwing her in the streets by kicking her out which would make me a big asshole. So, my son comes back from school at around 3 p.m. 3.30. My husband works until 6 and I work until 5 although sometimes I have to stay an hour or two extra this is not normal, maybe 3 or 4 times per month when we're behind in a project. We had a babysitter that would wait until he's back he comes back home via the school bus and would stay with him until me or my husband come back from work. However she recently discovered she's sick and told us that she can't continue working as she has to go though treatment, we thanked her for telling us and wished she would get better soon. My sister tried to apologize but I told her I don't want to live with her because she showed me her true colors. She also have told our family and a lot of them are giving me shit for leaving my sister homeless. My husband, my in-laws and friends support me but it feels hash if my family isn't on my side, makes me think I'm an asshole to be honest. Edit it wasn't easy to find another person to take care of my son, I had to take two days from work which will be taken from my next paycheck. Not the asshole you were not asking her to babysit indefinitely just literally to help out while you looked for an alternative. She was all fine and dandy with living with you for free while not contributing at all to the household and the first time you asked her for temporary assistance with something she made it clear that she has zero intention of helping out ever. You are under no obligation to help someone out who would not reciprocate when you need them. Your family is welcome to fix her homelessness issue. Not the asshole. Info what happened with her previous roommates that she had to move in with you? Not the asshole. Everyone voting TA because parents must never ask for help must come from very dysfunctional families. This is not you routinely exploiting your sister, it's asking for help in a sudden moment of need. My family is normal and therefore we scramble to help each other when need be. Then again Reddit has been teaching me that family dynamics in the US are apparently weirdly cold, individualistic, selfish, and transactional so maybe over there we would be the weird ones. Not the asshole. Screw those saying otherwise. You already gave her a huge favor by giving her free rent and food. You're just asking for temporary help and she doesn't even have class at that time. That is just way too small compensation for what you're providing her. Not the asshole. You've done her a huge favor, she's living completely free with you, and you asked her help when you needed it, and she flat out refused. So now she can find a place to stay where she doesn't have to help out other people who are helping her out. Tell your family who are messaging you, that they're free to step up to help her, if they don't, it's none of their business. Not the asshole. The least you can do is watch your nephew for about an hour or two when you are getting free housing and free food provided. She is allowed to say no and that's okay but actions have consequences. Not the asshole maybe you were a little harsh and a week is a little short notice but she's a freeloader. She's not contributing and when asked to help she refused and said she would have lived somewhere else. Well, now she can. Info when the sister initially moved in, did you ask her to contribute with money? What was the initial agreement? Not the asshole. You gave her a home and she won't help out when you are in need. She had it coming. The fact you even have to ask is concerning people are really such pricks. Oh FC you're not the asshole. Whoever says that you are they're delusional and irresponsible. Not the asshole. Sister doesn't realize her massive privilege and is an ungrateful brat. Not the asshole. She needs to go. She should try to get back into her own place. Not the asshole. If your son was under two, I could see the hesitation from lack of infant experience. 
but kindergarten, snack, movie, that should have been a piece of cake. I would follow through on this, but give her a month, as securing an apartment does take more than a week. Stick to your decision. Relatives giving you a hard time can send you money for lost wages. Bye bye bad sister, hello peaceful home again. Not the asshole. Reddit forces people to believe that nothing is ever their fault. You just needed a short time to get your situation handled and your sister didn't want to be there for you. She's the R. No reason she wouldn't buckle down and do this for you. Her true colors were shown. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. The audacity I swear my sister is like this too. You're giving 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 and she can't budge an inch. That is not how relationships work. Kick her ass out. Give her a couple of days for arrangements but then give her a taste of reality and how real life works. I wonder why she had issues with her roommates. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Wow talk about biting the hand that feeds you. She couldn't be bothered to help out the very person that was helping her. And their family I mean, I would have done it and I don't even know the woman. What did she expect would happen? I do think it was harsh to kick her out in 7 days. Even an eviction takes 30 days. But I would expect her to pay rent and groceries until she left. Not the asshole for asking her to help out, that should be a given. And yes that wasn't the agreement but sometimes things change due to unforeseen and external elements, which you explained. I do however feel that there was room for more dialogue before kicking her out. Not the asshole and I actually just went through a very similar situation myself with my younger brother. Your sister showed you who she is and it's perfectly reasonable for you to not want her mooching off you anymore. Not the asshole. You helped her when she needed it. She should help you when you need it, especially since it was short term, until you found another person to watch your son. It's insane how many people want to be handed any and everything without helping anyone else in return. Your sister sucks and I hope you're able to stand you ground. I know how crappy it can be to be guilt tripped by family to the point you give in. You did nothing wrong and your sister is T.A. That said you should look up laws in your area because most times after someone establishes residency then they need to be fully evicted. So if she digs her heels in it could be bad for you. Not the asshole. I always think about the concept of it takes a village, to raise a child and it is easily adapted to other situations. It was a small thing to ask and an opportunity for her to contribute and show appreciation. You are not the asshole, she is spoiled and entitled and maybe will learn there are consequences to her actions. Not the asshole and I love the hypocrisy here. I bet your family is mad at you for kicking her out because she is your sister and you are supposed to help family. That is a two-way street. This is an emergency situation and not something you expect her to do long term. If she can't help you out in an emergency why are you expected to help her? I can see why she might have had roommate issues.